What's up, Trojans? Welcome back to another episode of Trojan TV. Last week, the video tech joined the boys soccer team against Dovi, and here are some highlights. Good job, boys. Next up, we have question of the week with Jacob. <laughs> I'm here with Delilah. And what is your favorite app and why? TikTok. And I like TikTok because um, I like watching funny videos. All right. Thank All right, I'm you. here with Mario. And what is your favorite app and why? Uh, Facebook, because um, I'm really involved in social media. And I like my aunts and family, you know, hyping me up whenever my mom posts me, posts me something about me, you know. All right. Just, yeah, pretty much. I'm here Thanks. with Vanessa. And what is your favorite app and why? YouTube because it's music. I like music. I'm All right, thank you. Eileen Salinas. And what is your favorite app and why? Netflix because I binge watch all my favorite shows and it has funny comedy videos. I'm here with Leslie. And what is your favorite app and why? I like HBO Max because I like to watch Euphoria. All right, thank you. I'm here with Celeste. And what is your favorite app and why? My favorite app is Snapchat because I get to socialize with my friends. All right, thank you. That was awesome. So what's your favorite app? Following that, Video Tech visited the forensics class with Mr. Gross. Trojan TV, I'm here with... Mr. Gross. And he teaches the forensic science class and we're going to teach you about some experiments they had. Okay, so uh, early in the day, we just got done doing fingerprints, so we started off with making our own fingerprints, so we actually have fingerprint pads, and then we have the papers that they actually use in like jail where you do your fingerprints, you can see there's still some left on there from a practice run. Then after they learned about doing fingerprints of different patterns and shapes and stuff, then we had them actually pull fingerprints off of different things. And so this one, I don't, you probably can't see it on camera, but you use the tape to pull it off after you dust it with a little black dust. We did one with a magnet dust where you used a magnet to hold metal shavings over it. Um, we did a thing with DNA where you take DNA samples, you put it in these little jello squares and run electricity through it and it separates it out and you can see the patterns. They use it to like tell who like the father is on different stuff like that or like if they do find semen on a crime scene, like a rape situation, they can do that. We have done blood, so you can tell like how far blood has dropped based on like the size and like the little splatters that come off of it. Uh, you can tell by direction, right? It started here and splashed that direction, so we learned about stuff like that. Uh, we learned about different types of collection methods. And so with uh, drugs, like if you do have cocaine or different kind of powder, you'd want to put it in a thing called a druggist fold, which we do make in class. You can see we have all the extras that people made. And so you'd put the drugs in here so that way it doesn't get all stuck on the bag and it's easier to use for evidence. Uh, how to collect blood. We talk about how to collect liquid. Later in the year, we're going to get to talk about bullets. So you can tell different things about bullets, how they expand and explode. 
Uh, I'm not sure if you could be able to see it on the camera, but like on this bullet, you can see the lines on the bullet, so you can tell what kind of gun it comes from. Uh, we'll talk about some anatomy stuff when we talk about dead bodies to identify bodies. You can tell what race they are based off their bone shape, usually. Uh, we talked about hair. We just used microscopes to look. Whole class thing, learn about serial killers. We'll end the year learn about serial killers, so if you're into that, you take my class and you can learn about serial killers for a whole six weeks, pretty much. Sounds like an interesting class. Thank you, guys. We also talked to a few seniors about their future career, and we also have a senior announcement. What's your future career and why? Civil engineer. Um, something I look forward to, and they, like, they make a lot of money. All right, thank you. What is your future career and why? I want to be a photographer and a videographer because I want to travel the world and be able to capture every second and every beauty and everything. All right, thank you very much. What is your future career and why? Um, being a vet and because I like to help animals. Okay, that's nice. Thank you very much. What is your future career and why? Computer technician because I like messing with computers. Well, thank you very much. What is your future career and why? Uh, my future career is uh, an artist because I like drawing and art and anything that lets me be creative. All right, thank you very much. What is your future career and why? I'm going to play video games on Twitch, and I'm going to chase that bag. <laughs> Thank you very much. What is your future career and why? Uh, I plan on being mayor of South Houston and then eventually be mayor for Houston. And then hopefully, if that works out, I plan on going more into politics and become president one day. All right. Thank you very much. Would you like to tell the seniors before spring break? Oh my gosh, there's so much to tell seniors. But seniors, spring break is March 14th, March 10th, San Jack Promise, second deadline. So make sure you have applied to San Jack. You have your FAFSA completed by March 10th. Visit the college room if you have more questions, seniors. Next up, This Week in History. Garrett Morgan, known for his revolutionary inventions, was born on March 4th, 1877, and seventh of 11 children. Morgan grew up with only an elementary level education, but was able to play for tutors later in his life. His first notable invention was the breathing device or safety hood, which would eventually lead to the invention of the gas mask. His most revolutionary invention was the traffic signal, which led to the invention of the modern traffic lights. This week, we also joined the voice basketball team, and here are some highlights. Good job, guys, and good luck this week as I compete for a place on the 6A playoffs. Last up, we have an announcement from the Pasadena District. Have a great week in Trojans. Attention staff and students, this week there is a new way to receive a COVID-19 test if you feel the symptoms related to the virus. Around campus, several signs have been posted with this information and QR code for you to scan. After you scan the QR code, you will need to fill out the information and go to the off-site campus to be tested. This test is for both students and staff. You will need your school ID at the testing site to receive the test. Thank you. Mm -hmm.